this is Debbie from Lime Digital Design and thank you for joining me for Doodling with Debbie. Today's video is a two for one using the Chunky Hearts panel from Sam Says Stamp. I've seen this panel used in several ways already. She and Brandon created two fabulous cards using an alcohol ink piece she had. Leah Lawson used hers for some lovely stenciling and Nina Marie Trapiani has been playing with a gorgeous new Tim Holtz Distress Ink Colour Kitsch Flamingo. However, I wanted to use a watercolour piece for my example. I still had these watercolour swatches left over from the recent Four Seasons tree card I made and I kept looking at them on my desk. I love how the colours melt and blend together and so I wanted to create a watercolour piece with these colours that I could die cut with the Chunky Hearts panel. I taped a piece of Archer's watercolour card to my craft mat with 3M Blue Painters Tape. I'll be using a lot of water and taping to a hard surface will prevent the panel from warping too much. I pre-mixed a few colours in my palette in readiness. The colours that I used were in the main buff titanium, perylene green and transparent red oxide from Daniel Smith. I love these earthy colours and you see them a lot on social media, graphic design and home decor. They may not be the traditional colours for a card using hearts but it's nice to veer away from the norm. Although these cards could be used for Valentine's Day, they are adaptable enough to be used all year round with that sentiment. The earthy colours and non-fussy sentiment combination make these great guy cards too. I always find it harder to make guy cards, but I think these could pass the test. When the watercolours were dry, I pulled back the painter's tape, lined up the hearts panel over the piece and ran it through my die cutting machine, using some leftover painter's tape to keep the die in place. I removed the hearts from the panel but kept them in order in which they were in the main panel. I used a piece of Archer's watercolour card and lined up the die cut panel over the front and taped it in place with painter's tape. I then used this piece to guide me as I lined up the hearts on the watercolour card using foam squares to pop them up for dimension. You could use a piece of ivory card for this but I like the subtle texture of the watercolour card and I think it adds something for the background of the watercoloured hearts. Once I'd attached all the hearts, I removed the painter's tape and wiggled the main panel away from the hearts. I trimmed the panel down to be just slightly smaller than an A2 card base, ensuring I had equal spacing top and bottom on, on each of the sides of the hearts. I used a card base cut and scored from Fog Card and kept the panel in place with foam tape. I debated leaving this card super clean and simple with just a sentiment to finish it off. However, I thought a simple stem die cut from watercolour card would add an accent which complemented the earthy nature feel of the colours. I used a Tim Holtz craft pick to help remove the small pieces from the die. I set aside the die cut while I worked on the sentiment. The Introverts Unite set is one of my favourites. I relate to many of the greetings but also there are a bunch of general useful phrases which have a non-fussy, non-mushy vibe too, which I like. I chose the I love that you get me greeting and stamped it on the edge of the main panel so that I had a greeting which perfectly matched the colours of my hearts. I treated the card with antistatic powder and then stamped it in clear embossing ink before sprinkling with white embossing powder and heat setting. I was very careful then to cut the greeting out with a scalpel and ruler to ensure I could still use the main panel on another card. I used the greeting strip to help me attach the die cut stem to the card. I added foam tape to the back of the strip. I'll be needing a double thickness in order for the greeting to stand out from the hearts. However, initially I placed two foam squares, one end and only one the other. I then attached the stem to this side of the strip before sandwiching the die cut with the, foam t with the foam squares. I hope that makes sense. I removed the foam backers and aligned the greeting, nestling it between the hearts, and then used Gina K Connect glue to attach the stem to a couple of the hearts so it didn't waft around too much. Now onto the second card, and for this card I simply trimmed the panel to fit on a piece of Archer's watercolour card so you can see the lovely texture through the heart windows. This panel was in turn on a fog card base. I die cut another simple stem from watercolour card and stamped the greeting again on a scrap of watercolour piece I trimmed away. And then as a final accent I added a couple of eggshell pearls and a copper penny Nouveau droplet held in place with Gina K Connect glue. 
The first card was the one I had in my head with the die-cut watercoloured hearts showcasing the watercolour blends and blooms. However, it was a bonus to get a second easy card from the process too. So that completes this two for one using the Chunky Hearts panel with a watercoloured background. On the Samsa Stamp blog you'll find a coordinating blog post as well as details of the supplies I've used today. If you want to find me, I blog over at lambdudesign.com. I want to thank you for joining me today and I'll see you next time.